on that first Christmas morning, a homeless, exhausted young couple gave birth to the Christ child. His life and example brought so much joy to the whole world. Without any family nearby, that young carpenter and his wife relied heavily on the kindness of those around for food, shelter, and support. This Christmas, let us take special inspiration from everyone who gave so generously to Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus. Whether it's the family we are born into, the family we live near to, or the family we create over our lifetimes, let us do what we can to show our love and support for each other. This has been another challenging year for so many Bahamians, and even as our country moves forward with hope into a new day, many challenges remain. We have made progress in the fight against the spread of COVID, but we need to stay vigilant. The surge which is currently being experienced in other countries is likely to soon affect us here in the Bahamas. And even though we have recently made progress to ease the economic crisis of the past two years, life remains a struggle for far too many. But because of the love and support we can give to each other, we can strengthen our bonds as part of one big Bahamian family, one big human family, that the lives of each one of us may be uplifted this Christmas. Whether that family is at home or at work, in church or in the community, and whether your family looks like everyone else's or is your own special creation, I pray God's blessings upon you all. May this Christmas bring you and all your families much happiness and abundant joy.